Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about the two main types of application trials. So first up, we're gonna be talking about probably the most classic one, which is this shape. I don't know what you call this shape. I think they're all trapezoids technically. So this one's pretty like squared off with a little bit of taper. And this is like the most classic trowel. A lot of times, sometimes you'll see them uh, perfectly straight as well. A lot of times when you're looking for trials, you'll see this shape. And this is the first trial I used when I started out. Awesome trial to use, so don't get me wrong, this is like, these are still really good trials. But I think there's some benefits to other trials as well. The main thing with trials that you wanna find is a trial with some flex in it. So this one's a little bit more stiff than I would really recommend, but it does have some flex in it. And uh, that just allows you to kind of apply it a little bit more evenly and smoothly. So I always recommend getting some ones with some flex in it. Also, this one has rounded corners. So when you're going on to apply it, it doesn't leave like uh, lines where, where the edge of the trowel hit and dug into the plaster. So that's really good about this. This is just a great trowel to kind of get used to and start using right out of the gate. Now we'll talk about this trowel, and you'll see these kind of referred to as trap trowels for trapezoid trowel. And the reason I moved to this trowel is for a couple of reasons. One, the reason why this isn't as good as this is because this you can't really get into the corners with. Because when you, when you go into the corner with this one, the angle of this doesn't allow you to actually get into the corners because it's not a 90 degree angle here. So this is always wider than a 90 degree and that allows you not to really be able to get into the corners. So uh, you're having to have this and you're having to have a knife to get into the corners. So that kind of like already puts you in a disadvantage for like trying to get into different areas. So that's like one of the main differences there. So with this one, since there's a peak here and it's actually sharper than a 90 degree angle, I can actually get into the corners without a problem, right? Because there's space, there's space for me to kind of get in. And the cool part about this is like, I always think of this as like a finger. So when you're applying it, you think of it as a finger, an extension of your hand, it kind of helps you get into those little tiny corners and that's kind of really nice. So that's why I like this a lot. And that just is the shape of the trowel. It has nothing really to do with anything else other than the shape. So I really recommend these type of trials, these, this shape of trial, if you're really getting into plastering. Um, the other thing that's really cool about this is that there is quite a bit more flex. Um, so this allows you just to kind of apply a little bit more evenly. It's not as rigid. And the other thing is that this trial specifically is treated to not leave black marks on lighter Venetian plaster. So a lot of times like when you go to apply and burnish a uh, white or lighter color Venetian plaster, a lot of times like the trowel leaves little black marks everywhere where there's high points. Um, and this is treated not to do that. So if you're, if you're doing light Venetian plasters, I'd recommend getting this type of trowel. I'll link it below. And I think that's just the best way to do it. Now, the other thing you're gonna wanna do obviously you can burnish with a normal trowel, no big deal, but I've talked about this before, but a burnishing trowel. So the difference between your application trowel and your burnishing trowel is that you really don't want a lot of flex in your burnishing trowel. You really want it to be small like this and not a lot of flex. Like there is some flex in here, but you really don't want it to flex that much. The reason you don't really want flex is because you're gonna be applying pressure on your burnishing coat and any kind of flex in it is gonna lose energy. So you don't really want that. A small trial like this is really good for burnishing. Uh, these are a lot of times it's called a burnishing trial, uh, but I will link that as well below. And this one also is treated not to leave black marks. So that's really cool as well. But I recommend having two because when you go to apply the plaster, um, you're gonna wanna stop every, every you know, little bit to burnish on the second coat and it's good to have a second trial that's already cleaned off and ready to go so you're not applying and then having to clean it off then go back and burnish and then clean that back off and then go apply again and then burnish and so you're back and forth so it's good just to have two separates um, that you can kind of keep ready to go so that's why i recommend having two trials obviously having a burnishing trial is way better than having two normal trials. So there you have it, just a quick overview video of kind of the two main trials that you're gonna need and the differences between uh, kind of a classic trial and the reason why trap trials are maybe a little bit better in my mind. 
Um, obviously there's tons of applicators that use both and it's not really like you have to get one or the other. It's really what works for you. So I recommend actually just trying both, um, but honestly just find what works best for you. Uh, that's the key. So hopefully this information can help inform what you do. And there you have it. We will see you guys next time.